Okay, now we have talked about Markov inequality and Chebyshev inequality. Next, we will talk about uh, Chernoff bounds. Um, uh, well, the, the, the two previous uh, inequalities were due to Russian mathematicians, Markov and Chebyshev. This one is due to Hermann Chernoff. Uh, actually, he, he, he is still alive um, as of today. Um, and uh, I have learned uh, that he is 97 and uh, he is not Russian. That, that surprised me. Anyway, well, um, first of all, we will look at how Markov inequality uh, is derived. Now, you see, um, we, we started with this probability and observed that, well, we did it in, in some uh, slightly different way, but it adds up to the same uh, result, let's let's see how this is expressed. The probability of x exceeding a, here of course we are assuming a is a positive number and x is a non-negative random variable. Um, this is the indicator function. Now you see this probability, we can write this as uh, the integral from a to uh, infinity, the pdf, gives me this probability, okay? But you see, Instead of writing this, the integral from a to infinity, I can write this as, well, um, or I can write it as a sum from zero to a, zero times the PDF dx plus from a to infinity, one times the PDF dx. And this here is, you see, the indicator function the indicator function for x greater than or equal to a. So this indicator function is a very generic function in this form, and you provide some, um, uh, some case here, uh, whenever that is correct, well, let me just say um, uh, some theta here, which is, um, which is a condition, let's say, and the result of this function is one, if theta is true and zero if theta is false. This is called the indicator function. So here you see if x is greater than or equal to a, the result is one. And if x is less than a, the indicator function gives me zero in this region, okay? But this multiplied by the PDF integrated over uh, the, the positive right-hand side of the real line I get this probability, okay? So to derive the Markov inequality, we just made the following observation. This indicator function is for all positive values of X is less than or equal to this function, X divided by A, right? Because as you see, X divided by A, uh, illustrated in this graph is always above the indicator function. So if I replace this function with this function, I get something larger, okay? Um, I'm sorry, so this should be zero. I do not remember where that came from, but the, the integration limits is from zero to infinity, okay? The main observation here is that the indicator function okay, that looks at the event x greater than or equal to a, uh, is always less than or equal to the function x divided by a, okay? Therefore, when you replace um, this x divided by a, as you see, one over a is a constant, so I can pull it out of the integration. What remains is the integral from zero to infinity, which is the entire uh, sample space, x times the PDF, which gives me the expected value, Therefore, this is expected value of x divided by a, uh, which is the Markov inequality. So now here, we will make a further observation that instead of x divided by a, we can use other functions that satisfy this. Essentially, if you can find any function that will stay above the indicator function, you can find, find uh, another bound. One particular function was devised by Chernoff, which is e to the power s times x minus a, right? So as you see, when x is uh, equal to a, 
this here is zero. So this is e to the power zero, which makes one. Okay, and below it, this is e to the power some negative number because here we will assume s is a positive number always. Okay, and beyond this point, the, the exponent will be positive. So it will always be increasing. So instead of x divided by a, I can use the function e to the power s times x minus a for all values of s that are positive. 